supersedes Mohammed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, two-time former winners of the All England Championships and three times former world champions. Let's welcome the players. First up from China, Hei Ji Ting and Tan Jian. Well, it may surprise some to discover this is only the second meeting between these two pairs. You you? And Red. the only previous Red. time they met, Red. which Black was three and a half years ago at the Fuzhou China Red. Open of 2018. And it was Her Ji Ting and Tang Jian that won Beside on that Asan occasion. Asan. It was the semi final. And at the time, it was quite clearly the biggest result for He Ji Ting and Tan Qiang. But since then, they have won the silver medal last December in Fuelva in Spain at the World Championships, lost out in the final to Hoki and Kobayashi. He Ji Ting is 24 years of age. He celebrated his 24th birthday last month. Uh, born in Shaou in Fujian province. And he and his partner are currently 19 in the world ranking, have been as high as 10. Tan Chiang is a year younger, 23, uh, from Nanjing in Jiangsu province. Nanjing, of course, hosts for the 2018 World Championships. So as far as their matches are concerned, well, they've twice been taken the full distance in the first round against the winners from last week in Germany, uh, Gol Sifei and uh, Izzedin of Malaysia. And then in the second round, they beat the number four seeds, the 2019 beaten finalists here at the All England and Olympic bronze medalists. Quarter-final beat the 2019 World Junior Champions, Canando and Martin, again going the full distance in that quarter-final. So to Mohamed Hassan, he's 34 years of age and he's making his 15th consecutive appearance here. Born in Palembang in South Sumatra and he and his partner have been as high as one. 38 consecutive weeks back in 2013-14 but currently number two. For Hendra Setiawan, he is playing in his 17th All England Championships. His first appearance was back in 2005, born in Pemalang in central Java, and they won the All England title in 2014 and 2019. Three-time world champions, and they, like their opponents, have gone the full distance twice on their way through to this semi-final. In the first round, it was three games against Arjun and Kapila, dropped the opening game there. Then in the second Ready round, play. they played the former world champions, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nang, again dropped the opening game, quarter-final against the world championship bronze medalists, number seven seeds, Kim Astrup and Anna's Rasmussen of Denmark. Very close second game there, 22. 20. 
to Iris Mitzpalu of Estonia. He is our umpire for this one. And Daniel Wolf from Austria will be the service judge. Ah, they've changed from the information I've got. I do beg your pardon, Amanda Balam from England. I do hope that the aforementioned service judge is all right. I'm guessing that people in the green bu bubble have to have uh, COVID tests during the championships. We're in a red bubble. Well, we're not in a bubble. <laughs> we're in the, a mixed sort of green and red. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Dan Qiang and Hei Chi Ting, China. And on my left, Mohamed Ahsan and Hendra Setiawan, Indonesia. <laughs> Mohamed Ahsan to serve to Dan Chiang. Labo, play. So the two-time oh, former oh. champions so nearest to us, and that's an one, ominous start, one. isn't it? A service error from Mohamed Ahsan. Question mark in my mind, Steen, is so the fitness so levels of one, Mohamed Hassan four. because we saw in his quarterfinal against the Danes a huge grimace on his face and he had to have treatment on a calf muscle. So if he's not 100% fit, that could be Two, a, a real, real problem for the Indonesian pair. Or for the Chinese. The Indonesians, they often play best when they have a little injury. <laughs> They won the All England here on three and a half leg when uh, Hendra Sechevan was badly injured. Three. Yeah, One. this That's is just true. a minor problem. And I'm not sure whether actually Hendra Sechevan is um, is um, look at his his um, right knee. I think he is protecting it um, from time to time. So, um, four one. So they need to make the racket talk. I think but there's also a possibility of that. I think this man here, Tang Kiang, is going to be one. quite a bit tensed in this match. He was celebrating yesterday's quarterfinal win like uh, he won the title here and. Um, I think he would really like to go to uh, so over. the final here Two, at uh, All England. Five. I think there's a uh, lot um, of tension and um, pressure on the uh, Chinese men's doubles team. They're trying to find some combinations that are working for the upcoming big events. Switching pairings here in these uh, so three over. European tournaments. Six. Two. and what a rally that was. Seven, two. Just clipped the shuttle as it was going past him. Herji Ting. 58 shots. We had a rally at 127 shots in the women's doubles this morning. 
<laughs> this is a mere nothing. Between the Koreans and now Matsuyama and Shida. That's it. Three, oh. seven. Great return of serve. Serve is over. First little top spin. Eight, four. Sending it in a downward direction. Look yeah, at that. That's a beautiful return. Four. Nine, four. And then when Hitchi Ting tried the same, he just covered it like uh, it was a piece of cake and just said, John. Silver, five, nine. Oh, that's clever, clever, clever play from the 37 year old Hendra Setia one. Silver, ten, five. I didn't like that movement from Mohamed Hassan. Yeah, he's just standing at the net. I think he's hurt his leg again. Oh, brilliant! Well, we've always talked about Hendra Setiawan's reading of the game, but mostly we refer to that at the front of the court. That was so aware of where his opponent was. Utterly brilliant. Six point advantage at the mid game interval for the two time former champions. Well, they're challenging that. I saw that as in. I did too. Well, they're entitled to ask for the instant review. Yeah, clearly in. Challenged, unsuccessful. One challenge Do you think, remaining. Jill, that uh, Harry E.P. 12, the uh, Indonesian five, coach, do you think that he possibly could have just play. whacked Asan over the calf there to make them sharper with the racket? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first ever 13, Super Series tournament five. in Malaysia in 2007, Peter Gehrig, he got ill on the flight and um, from, from uh, Europe to Malaysia and they thought about uh, making yeah, an emergency over. landing. They didn't. But he went Six, directly to hospital, 13. stayed in right. hospital for two days, right. got up, got out, and won the tournament. Yeah. And I said, I'm going to whack him next time we fly to Asia. So <laughs> that he plays better. <laughs> Seven, 13. You want to play? Play. Uh, play I think the Chinese pair have got to focus more on moving the two Indonesian players. Perhaps a little it, it, it's, it's much too high, the lift. Yeah. yeah. That's the way. That was the same that they did yesterday. So it's simply not clear about um, the tactics Seven. when there's... Uh, 
A slightly injured player. Yeah, that was halfway down the net. Yeah, uh, I, I think he's made some peculiar choices. Uh, Sorry, ten, ten. This one is good, though. Eight. Just before the uh, interval, he made this move towards the net where Sechuan totally outplayed him. Yeah. 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 It's definitely not good with the sun. But no, it <laughs> they keep not. scoring. Yeah. So it's over. 15-8. I certainly see so Ho Ji Ting out of the two Chinese players 15. as the more creative of the two, the playmaker. Yeah, in my opinion, he's, he's clearly the better player. And uh, if I were the Chinese coaches, they're obviously searching. They've rebuilt the uh, former world champions, Jiang Nan and Liu Chang, that hasn't really been successful so far, might come. So but I would definitely go with Ho Ji Ting and uh, Liu Chen. Nine. Yeah. I say, yeah, that's not the same style, and they play the same uh, role, which I actually so uh, disagree upon. Uh, 10, but then we have 16. to find the style. We have the two best players, and then we have to create a style so they can play together. Yeah, World Championship silver medalist with an Olympic silver medalist. That, you know, on paper looks as if it would be a good partnership. Sixteen. That's landed in. So the silver. Good reactions from Mohammed Hassan. Eleven. Standing there like uh, a mixed doubles player, Mohammed Hassan. Great reaction, so. Two points away from the open game. Yeah, good work from Tang Chia. Standing, having a chat with the uh, service judge there, both <laughs> Indonesians. Nineteen. <laughs> Missed it. Well, all of a sudden, it 14, seems possible. Nineteen. Necessarily probable, but definitely possible. Game point opportunities for Asan and Setiawan. Twenty game point forty.
Oof. Service over. Can't have been out by much. 50, 20. third game point opportunity the three time First former world one, champions Asa, take the opening Hendrick. game 21 16 21 16 confirms the umpire a little over 14 minutes for game number one Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, Lobo. Well, I had real so concerns over, one in that opening game about the calf muscle of Mohammed Hassan. Yeah. Oh, it's gone wide. Steen, I just want to pick up so on a point you were making in the four. opening game about China searching for a new men's doubles pair, because men's doubles has actually been problematic over the years for China. You look at the All England uh, results since One. they first competed in uh, these championships, and their first year was 1982. Uh, men's singles, they've won 20 titles, women's singles, 22, uh, women's doubles, 24, mixed doubles, 12, but men's doubles, only six titles. Yeah. Over that 40 years. And uh, amongst how many pairs? Two, three? Three different pairs. Yeah. Young Bobingi, Fu and Kai. So Who's the last sober. one? Um, Two, all. Lu Xiaolong. That's and right. And they only won once. Yes. Yeah. And they won once. Yeah. They, they have been struggling in men's doubles. Yeah. They, they have. Um, they are extremely good. And now I'm speaking from what I've seen so and when I was coaching. They're extremely three, good in two. a fast, fa uh, fast-paced yeah. game. But the moment um, you play a little bit off the um, normal um, textbook, it's not necessarily the same thing. If you block it a little bit, take the pace out, at least for Europeans and for Danes, 
And like for Indonesians, they, with their excellent uh, game reading skills and game plan and so on, uh, they've often been able to get the better of them. The same Four, has the Koreans with the uh, magnificent defense and, and, um, and game reading skills. Malaysians also from time to time, they've actually, even though they might not have won so many titles, but they've been really, really lethal to a lot of the Chinese pairs because they have this special touch in their men's doubles to neutralize the fast-paced um, flat game. So the silver change. Three, four. And we, I don't know, the only, the only um, sort of two, I wouldn't say natural, but really strong front court players from China, I can remember, that's Liu Xiaolong and, um, and um, Chai know. Yun. Yeah, and Chai Yun was even a, a learned front court player. That's a nice block. Five, four. So, yeah, I don't know if changing uh, to the running score system has uh, made it um, more difficult because the opponent can um, make it more service situation like it's difficult they, they haven't succeeded oh, it's just wide another good rally so incredible over. defense in the middle of Five, that rally four. from Hendra set here one Clearly wide. Oh, it looked long, it long, didn't it? Well, we have the instant review for situations like this. Serve them. Six, five. Play. Ah, oh, that's a beauty. What a lovely shot from Tan Chiang. That's the change of pace. Six, oh. Big gap, big, big gap. Mohamed Hassan Seven, not able to six. move after he played the shot. Brilliant. My goodness. Tan Chiang all of a sudden. Eight. He's really six. hunting the shuttle at the Nine. net. Is that a tumble serve that he's using in Tang Chang? I'll have a closer look. Yeah, uh, couldn't see it from there. Oh, my goodness. So the silver. There's such great Seven, awareness. Eight. Think of the feeling Asan must have there when he sees the shuttle comes exactly where he wants it. Yeah. Silver nine seven. Kayla Sarah on the return seven. of serve Change. from Mohammed Hassan. Change. Oh, yes. 
been much more alert on the front court. Her and Tan. Yeah, alert and aggressive. <laughs> and their reward, a four-point advantage here in the second game. Yeah, I think the coach was urging them to be, you know, a little quicker on his feet. He, if I'm interpreting the body language correctly. Oh, that's a lovely block. Oh, that was getting long off the back line here. Yeah. Certainly has. So it's over. Serve. It was dipping as soon as it had crossed over the net. Service oh. over. 12 9. Oh, oh that's one. That's a terrific placement from Setia One. felt were commanding the rallies and yeah. doing all the attacking and now they're doing all the defending yeah and and that is the way to to do it everybody knows that it's just so difficult to to execute when you're actually standing there on court you've got to have the attack against the, these two magnificent indonesians Lucky net courts. Service over. 11 40. players have made a service error. Well, they reached the final of the India Super 500 event with this Indonesian pair out to ranking ready and shitty in the final. Seventies eleven. The Chinese combination, this is their first tournament of the year. Service over. 
12-17. And in many ways, their silver medal at the World Championships was actually a, a quite good result because they haven't really been given exposure from um, China in the, uh, in the big events. Um, Thomas Kopp, Suryaman Kopp. It's always been Twin Towers so and uh, Zhang Nan and uh, Liu Chang or 18, Wang Yilu, Zhang Ziwei, who's been switched from mixed doubles to men's doubles, so they haven't yeah. really played at the big events previously. Service over. 13, 18. Well, any pair can have a little run of points. It's this Indonesian pair, but it won't happen with an error so like that. And now, the World Championship 13. silver medalist just two points away from taking this second game. So we silver. 14, 19. Well left. Game point opportunities for Herji Ting 20. and Tan Chiang game to level the semi final at one Let's. game apiece. Play. One game, game all. 21 14, second game. Second game. Well, they don't hang about, these players, do they? I make that at just about 30 minutes, just under, for those first two games. Extraordinary. One game all. So third and deciding game. A place in the All England final awaits the winner of this game. So it's over, one loss. Oh, that's well taken. Steen, I was mentioning. Uh, towards the end of the second game Love. that the Indonesians have been in the final of the India Super 500 event and in achieving that Mohamed Aslan and well sorry Hendra Setiawan had been completed being Love. in at least one final every year for 20 consecutive years overtaking Lin Dan's record of one final every year for 19 consecutive years. Wow. That is truly astonishing, isn't it? 
Lee Chong Wei won final year for 16 consecutive years. We've had some great players, and one of them is on court right now. Yeah. And what a start to this deciding game. Four love advantage for the former champions. Placement with rapid so work from Tang Chiang. One five. Oh, my goodness, that's ridiculous. Service over. That net cord from Mohammed Hassan. Oi, good save. Uh, good rally. Wipe the Seems like half of Jakarta is here in uh, Birmingham. Uh, we love the Indonesian fans. Oh, Wherever what? they are in the world, they're yeah. always very vocal. They're very knowledgeable about their badminton. And we love having them here. Service error. Service Second over. from Setia One. Two, seven. Service over. Eight, two. Brilliant. And they look so Two. casual about it, especially this man, <laughs> Sergio One. is extraordinary. Ten, two. Yeah, it was an off-balance, out Service of position. Over. Normally, Mohammed Hassan wasn't injured. He would have gone back for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Net shots too good 11, from Mohammed Hassan. And it is the two time former champions. Nice from Indonesia, who have an eight-point advantage here in the deciding game at the change of ends. So obviously, Steve, the ends are making a difference. Yeah, I think, um, the Chinese, they have not been ready for this at the Shadow Bars a split second earlier when you play the far side of the court. Um, perhaps also a little bit tensed. Yeah. 
because uh, as I said to him, they're playing with um, good variation on their shots. You're not supposed to be able to hit winners like that from the back of the court in men's doubles. All about angle and placement. Oh, just missed. Service over. And four. The Chinese here had the attack. They almost didn't have it in the first half of um, this third game. And it was also the way they won the second game, trying to get on the attack. So everything is about how can we sort of uh, survive the early stages of a rally and uh, hopefully get on the attack. What can we do in the service situation? If we have to sort of surrender the service situation, how do we turn it around later on? It's gone long. One of the things, for instance, is the flick serve that is high, not necessarily flat, because we just want to move the opponent away from the front court area. Oh, Chinese combination did Six. extremely well there to get themselves out of trouble. Yeah, and hopefully for them, that can be sort of a, a momentum changer. They have scored a couple of points here on the uh, better side. I think they need at least two more, maybe three, to uh, still be reasonably in it with the probability to catch the uh, Indonesians. Absolutely targeted Ji Ting in Service that rally. Yeah. Was that three or four shots 13, just at him? Six. And the bad shot from Ji Ting was uh, before this when he tried to play the uh, half court from below the tape. I mean, that you, you just can't do that against the Sun and Setsu. Oh, Silver. I, I don't 14, understand it. Why keep doing seven. what uh, you already established is not working? The sun sets you on way better in the flat game. The awareness. Eight, That's his third 14. service error. Satisfied, heard you think. No. 15, 8. Yeah, look at him talking to his partner. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Played back where Asan came from because I think that's one of the problems that he has changing direction. Tom 
Gaethje Ching can look at himself. So the silver. That shot there lasted for them. Nine. So he played his partner into trouble. Yes. When the Indonesians are on the attack and they've got one 17, player at the front of the court who's nine. anticipating, they are absolutely lethal. Yeah. And I think it should be uh, study material for all the young men's doubles pairs coming up. How do we play the defense? How do we turn the defense around? Oh, it's called out. There's a challenge here. It's their first challenge, actually, of the match, the Indonesians. Here we go. And pass out for the call line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 10-17. That's the one. Changing direction, that's the problem for Mohamed Hassan. Yeah, so having played a smash from the back of the court, they lifted so back to the same place yes. and he, because he was looking to come 18, forward. Exactly. 10. Yeah. Three points away from a third All England final for Hassan and Setihua. If there is one more chance, it's worth noticing how the Indonesians change the defense. Whenever they feel that they've played a good defensive shot, they're moving forward, looking for the opportunity. Service over. 19 11. Two points required. Oops. Yeah, I think we can safely say he read that. <laughs> it's gone wide. It's match point opportunities. For Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sediawan. Match point 12. <laughs> Service over. Well, it was wide, 13, but it wasn't wide by much. 20. Number two seeds, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sediawan book their place in the All England final once more. The two-time former champions will tomorrow contest an All Indonesian men's doubles final. Umpire just confirming that scoreline. 48 minutes in total for their victory. And they will play against Fikri and Mulana in tomorrow's final. Well, 
since the inception of the World Tour, it will be a tense all Indonesian men's doubles final. That's across all World Tour events. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-16, 14-21, 21-13 in the deciding game in a match lasting 48 minutes. So after the men's doubles, we turn our attention to women's doubles and two unseeded combinations, Cheng Shu Xuan and Cheng Wu from China, up against a pair that was actually promoted from the reserve list, Teresa Jolly 